Hi, welcome back. I want to start the video by saying I cut my bangs and now I look like Drew Barrymore in Scream. Except I am infinitely better because I wouldn't break up with Stu because Matthew Lillard is king. Anyway, in this video, I'm making a flower cardigan. A cardigan made out of flowers. For this cardigan, I used Red Heart, Super Saver, Ogo, Yarn, and Baby Rainbow. Yeah, two projects in a row, Baby Rainbow. I ended up using nine of these, like breaking it to nine total. The ninth one I really needed just for like spare green because the green is used throughout the entire cardigan. So it used up quicker than other colors. So originally my concept for this cardigan, I was going to do like a really like a longer cardigan because most things I do are cropped, probably because I want to finish quickly. So I'm lazy, but I also like cropped things. So my original plan was to do a tapestry crocheted with like still different, like, like the flower one color and the square different color and then do a bunch of different variations like how I did the finished product but i made this whole grid for it so yeah i drew out this whole grid and i did a little test square and i was like man this is not really liking how this is looking it's like it was pretty big like just the squares themselves ended up pretty huge because i was going to just do it all in one go instead of doing squares because i was trying to avoid another patchwork type deal after that pink and green sweater i was like there's gonna be so many like threads hanging down and it's gonna be such a mess i just don't even want to deal with it and then so i was like do i really like am i gonna do squares with this but i don't even like how the flower is turning out so like what's going on like what am i gonna do and then i remembered these rose like a rose cardigan i've seen where like the rose was like 3d puffed out and i was like oh like if i can find a flower like a tutorial for just a, a normal flower then i could do that and that'll be my cardigan and there was the idea and uh for the granny squares the flower granny squares the tutorial i followed was crochet rose flower granny square tutorial by christine's crochets and i didn't follow the entire tutorial i literally just learned how to do the flower and then did the first border of the color and then I stopped because there was more to it. It makes it a lot bigger but I didn't want it to be bigger. I thought that after the first row of color the squares were a good enough size. Pretty much immediately I was like I could tell that I was gonna have a bad time with the tail ends and I was right. The best part of this project was crocheting the squares. Everything that came after that was like my own personal hell. <laughs> it was misery. It took me a long time because of that I kind of got burnout during this project too so it took it took me a while to get it finished. I could already tell that the there's gonna be a lot of tail ends as I was crocheting these squares and for some reason I decided hey let's uh let's do two rows of each color going like in a row for all of the ribbing which means just like a billion more tail ends I took some like videos and pictures of just how many tail ends I was dealing with so you know there's two tail ends for every time the color changes that was a bright idea a very bright idea of me but it looks good like you know putting the effort in is worth it because I like how it looks so far I haven't seen it on yet I was gonna try it on for the first time on camera so so hopefully it'll still look good even when I'm wearing it. And then I was at Hobby Lobby and I was like staring at this button rack for like five minutes and I could not figure out what buttons I wanted to do. They don't fit the color perfectly, the pinks and the yellows and whatever, and I don't want too much of one color and I don't want to introduce a new color because there's like five already and I was like just uh, in anguish about the buttons. <laughs> but I ultimately found these really cute clear glittery ones that don't distract and they're still cute. Yeah, so they're just clear little glittery buttons. Also throughout the course of this project I learned how to crochet a different way of holding the hook. Normally I would hold it like this like a pencil like that and that's how I'd crochet most of the time but over the course of this project I got comfortable holding it like in a grip how I see most people crocheting a lot of the time. So yeah now I can do it both ways and I am more powerful because of it but I've noticed like the thicker handles all naturally like hold in a grip now and then the thinner hooks all just like hold like a pencil it's just whatever's more comfortable I guess but that's cool because I always wanted to know how to hold it like that because people are like oh it's faster. I mean I haven't noticed myself going faster but it's still cool it's more comfortable for sure with those thicker handles so i planned out my grid for how i was gonna do the cardigan and i oh my god i spent so much try time trying to plan out these squares like so perfectly i was like trying to like make sure that none of the squares like touch any of the same color and none of the flowers that were next to each other were the same color and i agonized over that thing for so long like um i had toyed with the idea of doing a different type of granny square like that didn't have the flowers to try and like break it up a little bit better but that ended up just adding even more <laughs> color variation into the mix because I just overcomplicate things I think. So that took a while to figure out and uh, ultimately the only thing I wasn't happy with was that I have two blue flowers on the back panel that are next to each other. I couldn't figure out a way without completely redoing the back panel uh, to get them away from each other so whatever. <laughs> it's fine it's not too noticeable so I'm not like tripping about it anymore and while I was laying out all of the squares somehow I messed 
messed up in my count of how many of like whatever variation I needed and I ended up with two leftover squares that did not go where they were supposed to go where the last two gaps were so I was like oh no and I was like so mad because I was like am I really gonna have to take these apart and redo like do two new squares it won't take that long but it's annoying that I have to you know so sadly I cut off the camera while I did this but I like I turned off the camera and then I was like looking at them and I started moving the squares around and I ended up like perfectly moving uh <laughs> the two squares that I had left I got those ones from uh just moving a few other squares around on the cardigan and I think overall it made it look better too so it was cool that I got to do that but I'm just I'm bummed that I didn't get it on camera, but it made it so that uh, I didn't have to do any any more crocheting of the squares. So that was cool. Also with this project, it's like, I'm a little bit afraid that it's going to be a little look weird because it might be a little small for the Elviona Halim Harry Styles inspired cardigan. I, I did the same grid basically for that video. I did that for this video. And her squares were 15 centimeters. These ones ended up 13 centimeters. So all around, it's a little bit smaller of a cardigan, but that one ended up pretty big. So I have like hopes that this one won't be too small so i guess i'm just gonna try it on now and hopefully it'll look good this thing's just so bulky it's the bulkiest thing i've made it's huge yeah that's pretty cool this feels bulky like it being on feels bulky <laughs> yeah this isn't like an everyday wear type thing obviously but i think it's pretty cool uh it's really nice to see my work come to fruition because uh, i spent a really long time agonizing over this so it's very cool to see it finally on and all together yeah cool i'm excited that's my cardigan yay <laughs> Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this, you know. Bye. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't think it was gonna be as warm as it was because it has such, like, so many huge gaps in it. I was definitely not expecting it to be that warm, but I was, like, sweating from the, like, five minutes I was wearing it.